so so with the with the clay that I make here, um, like basically we're using about three different clays. We've got terracotta and a stoneware clay and a porcelain clay. The terracotta is a, is a local clay. The stoneware clay is a clay that I dig from further along the road where there's an old uh, fire clay pit. And then there's the, the porcelain, which is the um, based on the um, clay from up at Matari Bay. And that's called a halosite or a china clay. I buy that in and I'm adding other materials to it. If you're using clay straight out of the ground, I mean, for instance, they might have little stones or bits of root in it. Um, and so it's the, the, like what I'm doing is I'm, I'm putting it all into a mixer with water and mixing it into a slurry. And then there's a, a tap on the bottom of the tank and we open that up and pour it out as a slurry through a sieve. So we gather any stones over a certain size and any, any root material, any uh, organic stuff comes out as well. Um, so that's one thing. Um, the other issue is that often with um, local uh, field clays, um, when you fire them, depending on where you're firing them to, like if you're firing them to stoneware temperature, for instance, 1300 degrees, you'll get one of two things happening. I mean, it'll either come out from the firing being slightly porous, which is not good, or the other thing is it can be very, it might slump, it might be over, you know, might go all glassy. Um, so, you, you know, you have to, like, you can still use the clay, but you have to make corrections by additions of various materials to counteract those faults that you're getting. I mean, we would add ball clay if we wanted more plasticity in the clay, more, more binding uh, ability of the clay. The other material that we often put in, like that's what I'm adding to the fire clay along the road, because when it, if I fire that in its natural state, it's slightly porous. So I add feldspar, which is a source of sodium um, and potassium. I've always felt it would, it's a good thing to, to gather materials locally. I quite like the thoughts of Hamada, the Japanese potter, who, who always felt that um, uh, any one clay was no better than another clay. It's a little bit like saying that, that red is better than black or blue or yellow is better. I mean, a rough clay um, might have more textural uh, things going on with it, whereas a, a very plastic clay could be smoother and more slick. But there's no, it, it doesn't limit the amount of beauty that's, that's there in the clay. It, I think it's a matter of, of, of finding something in your environment which works for you and, and just drawing the beauty from that.